Yep, I am tied up to a dock. Look at this dock. It's so teeny tiny. <laughs> it's actually quite nice uh, because I've got four corners. This is a dock that is supposed to take a catamaran. Catamarans tend to be really wide, so you can see I've got a lot of extra space. The, the nice thing is that it's not costing me a lot of money. This is Oriental. That's the name of the town. It's in North Carolina. And the big news is that I'm going to be staying here for a while. Contiki and myself. I'll give you a walk around. You can see uh, where I'm at. In the background there's a bunch of uh, sh shrimp boats. Look at that adventurous sailboat. Way off in the distance, you probably can't see him. He's listing hard. That's a big body of water out there. There's a bunch of other big bodies of water that are north of me. And I didn't feel comfortable crossing those big bodies of water. Not because I'm afraid of doing it or anything like that, but the, you know, you really need to be very, very careful about your scheduling. And uh, when you got two boats, a lot of times, you know, you wind up uh, trying to adhere to some schedule or another that is uh, maybe not the best thing to do. You wind up traveling in days that, uh, you know, that, you know, in weather that you shouldn't be. And there's some big weather, um, big water coming up. <clears throat> so uh, I was going to do it. I'd be in Virginia Beach right now if it weren't for Elsa. That storm came through and actually kind of fizzled out. It wasn't too bad. Um, I made the decision to come in here to Oriental. And prior to that, uh, Mike and I started going our own way, doing our own thing. And uh, the communication between us kind of uh, deteriorated a little bit where we weren't talking to each other. I, I will forever recall, you know, consider him a friend and be thankful for him pushing me out the door, as it were, to go on this adventure. But there are some considerations coming uh, forward. You know, the dogs, it's going to get hot. We're going to be in weird places where you may not be able to anchor. And I can just imagine him being uh, the adventurous type, going out and anchoring in places that I wouldn't be comfortable in. Uh, not to say that it's not safe for him, it's just not comfortable for me. And traveling lately has uh, turned into something that is uh, making me think I shouldn't be doing this I shouldn't be doing this it's not fun it's uh, you know I go to places uh, different towns and I, I feel like I got to stay with the boat to make sure that the anchor doesn't drag and meanwhile he's out and about having fun at these various places and I feel like I'm missing out <clears throat> so things are changing right now because this is gonna be home uh, for you know I could stay here a month maybe longer. Uh, I might very well be here for the entire winter because, like I said, you know, I, I, I need a break. I've been going every single day. Uh, I did have one day off the boat and that's when we went camping in Greenville. Aside from that, I've had no time away from the boat and it's not necessarily being away from the boat, which is what I desire, but it's um, not traveling, not, you know, being uncomfortable and uh, having a bad time. That's what I look forward to. Being tied up here, I feel a great relief because I'm not worried about anything, you know? I mean, sure, a Cat 5 could come through here and ruin everything, but there's always, the worst case scenario can happen no matter where you are. But what's nice is that if I stay here, if I stay put for a little while, I'll get to do some fishing. Uh, I caught a red drum just the other day, right across this uh, river, it's called the Noose River. The Pamlico Sound is right there. The Albemarle is further up, and then the Chesapeake. My goodness! Then it turns a little bit for a, for a while into what's like a city almost, you know. And there's, there's no place to stop, and there's big marinas and big money. And North Carolina seems to have a small town feel uh, feel about it. And it's the people here are so friendly, and it's it's just a beautiful town well maintained and taken care of and uh, I feel comfortable here and I know that there's some good fishing around here so yeah th I made the decision to stay put as long as I'm tied up and this slip is privately owned by somebody had, that has followed my channel for a while he asked that I don't uh, show him on YouTube I don't know if he was joking or not but um, 
so I won't mention his name, but I'm, I'm very grateful because he's given me a fantastic deal on this slip. He, uh, he made the offer to Mike as well, and I passed it along to him before I told him that I was stopping and not uh, going any further. I said, you can have a slip for a few days if you need it for free. I mean, this fella is offering it to you, and Mike was like, no, nah, I'm moving. And I'm like, okay, okay. I was like, by the way, I'm not. <laughs> Um, I didn't know how Mike was going to take it because, you know, us separating is, is a bit of a big deal. But he said he's just going up by the Chesapeake and he, he plans on staying there for a little while too. So you never know if we, uh, we might catch up at some point in the future. In the meantime, I'm going to be hanging out here in Oriental, North Carolina. And I'm going to start doing live videos. Just to let you guys know what's up. I'm going to start doing some uh, meetups where not only do I meet with you know followers of my channel but I fish with you guys maybe and hang out with you guys there's farmer markets and festivals that ha ha uh, happen around here and all kinds of fun stuff and I think it would be a cool thing if you guys are local to um, to, to do these meetups and to fish with people and I haven't been able to do that you know I, I gave Mike the uh, exclusive rights to live videos and uh, keeping in touch with people because I wanted him to build his channel and which helps him pay for this trip which is you know it's a pretty big deal uh, but now that um, we're going our separate ways I'm gonna start getting back in touch with my audience and uh, I don't know a lot of it feels good you know I'll miss Mike I'm gonna miss traveling part of me uh, but you know, the loop is not over. Many people, and I agree with them, say that, you, you know, to do it right, you should do it over four or five years or, you know, just take your time. I can imagine the next leg going from here to somewhere in uh, New York, maybe the Catskills, and then wintering the boat, taking my sweet time doing it, stopping along the way, not having to worry about uh, running while there's weather out there, you know. It's just safer to do things like that. And I have to do it, if I have to do it by myself, then it's just the way it's going to be. If uh, Mike and I continue it at some point in the future, then that would be cool too. But for now, the big news is that I am here in North Carolina. I'm going to be here long enough where I can finally get stuff mailed to me. And uh, while I'm here, I'm going to uh, almost certainly uh, buy a vehicle. I need a car or a pickup truck would be better and maybe something like a pop-up camper that I can pull behind my uh, vehicle uh, because eventually I need to get back to Florida to uh, play around and uh, with some of the toys that I left there and uh, to spend the winter down there because I'm sure it gets kind of chilly over here. <laughs> um, by then I will have probably hauled the boat out. It's going to be, I think, cheaper and easier to winter a boat here than uh, up north, like in New York or something. So I'm sorry to say that I, I won't be able to see my friends up in New York, but, um, you know, who knows? Maybe before I go back to Florida, I drive up there and I say hello to some of my friends, or I fly up there. I, I'm, I'm free. For the first time in a very, very long time, I'm free. I don't have to worry about traveling. I don't have to worry about a kayak rental business. I don't have to worry about so many things. <sighs> and I can't tell you the, uh, the weight that's lifted off my shoulder. I, ho I hope you uh, get to benefit from it as well because under this bridge, uh, I bet there's fish and beyond that there's, uh, there's redfish and there's some folks here with rods and reels going out there to do a little fishing right now. I can't wait to meet some of these people and uh, show you guys this town and, and start doing live videos and all that fun stuff, you know, that I've been uh, putting aside so that I can be a captain and drive a boat and, you know, it was amazing. It was fun. Uh, but it's time for change. And uh, now is that time. So uh, stay tuned uh, for some live videos. Right now it is Friday. What I'm going to do is Saturday, what is it, tomorrow, I'm going to take a uh, chapter from Mike's book and tomorrow at 6 p.m. I'm going to go live. I'll set it up on the back of my boat and I'll answer all your questions. 
you know, we'll just talk. It'll be nice to talk to you guys again. Miss you guys. And uh, for everybody that picked up on Mike's channel and watched him, uh, thanks. It was fun talking to you guys there. Mike will still be doing that. Uh, so you can still follow him along. He's going to move forward and he'll be seeing different places so you'll be able to follow two people that are uh, on an adventure now instead of just one. Because I know I've been a little bit lacking, but you know, staying here will enable me to make more videos and, uh, like I said, be more in touch with you guys. So uh, that's the big news. This will be the first night that I'm spending here. I'm probably going to sleep as if I've been uh, shot in the neck with a tranquilizer dart. <laughs> and then uh, we'll be taking the Bass Raider out and my new kayak, and we'll be doing fishing, meeting with people, going out on their boats, and <sighs> the adventure will continue. That, I promise. <laughs>